In the third question, I have to factorize the given expressions using the appropriate identities. So let's start with the first one. The first expression is 9x square plus 6xy plus y square. Now let's uh, observe that 9x square is the square of 3x and y square is the square of y and 6xy can actually be thought of as 2 times 3x times y. So I can write this first expression as 3x whole square plus 2 times 3x times y plus y square. So this is of the form a square plus 2ab plus b square. So this will be a plus b whole square or 3x plus y whole square. So this is the factored form of this expression 3x plus y times 3x plus y uh, is the factored form of the first expression. Now let's go to the second part. The second part is 4y square minus 4y plus 1. So in this case, I can think of 4y square as the square of 2y. 1 is the square of 1 and minus 4y, I can write this as minus 2 times 2y times 1. So I can write this expression as 2y whole square minus 2 times 2y times 1 plus 1 square. So this is of the form a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this will be a minus b whole square. So this or 2y minus 1 whole square. This is the factored form of the second expression. Now let's go to the third part. The third part is x square minus y square by 100. Now x square is the square of x and y square by 100 is the square of y by 10. So this expression is of the form a square minus b square where a is x and b is y by 10. So this is how I can write this expression. So this will get factored as a plus b a minus b or x plus y by 10 times x minus y by 10. This is the factored form of the third expression. So that completes question number three. Now let's go to the next one. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.